Do you want to start showcasing the impressive results you've gotten for previous clients to win new customers? Then keep watching because I'm going to show you how you can build beautiful, reusable, conversion-focused case study templates for your WordPress website using nothing but our page block designs inside Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder. Hi, I'm Matt from Thrive Themes. Now, you already know that client case studies are a great way to get your prospective clients to become paying customers. In fact, we recently published a post on the Thrive Themes blog that analyzed several different client case studies, distilling the best from each to produce a case study blueprint you can use to build your own. Now, you can download this case study blueprint from our website, and I'll link to the PDF below, but it walks you through section by section everything you need to produce a conversion-focused case study. If you follow the case study blueprint and build it with page blocks, you'll end up with a template that looks something like this. And as I scroll down, you'll see we even have some of the page block designs with animations for your results sections where you show off your data and charts and graphs. We'll even throw in a couple cool tips about how to jump link, say from the hero area down to your client testimonial video area, so stay tuned for that. To get started, go to your WordPress dashboard and add a new page. From there, give it a general name like case study template and save it as a draft. We're not going to publish this because this will be the template we keep cloning for actual templates in the future. From there, open the Thrive Visual Editor and select the completely blank page option when prompted. Now, one of the strategies you can use to make your landing pages more conversion focused is omitting the header. So you're taking away clickable options from the visitor. So we're gonna do that in this example and just start with our very first above the fold hero area section. So we'll add a page block and this opens the page block template library. We'll filter for hero area designs and select this one because it looks most like our blueprint. Now, just for fun, I'll swap out the demo image with my own client demo image. And I'll change the height back to 100% here so it's a perfect circle. And then another thing I like to do is swap out some of the demo text for my own instructional copy so I know exactly what to write when I'm doing future case studies. I can even do some cool things like highlight text and assign it my brand color. Let's bold it too to make it stand out. And this is pretty cool because if I ever change my Thrive Theme Builder brand color, then it will automatically update. As we go through building this template, you're gonna see that all of our page block designs have these global colors assigned. So these color changes will apply throughout the entire landing page. But for now, let's go back to our blue brand color and continue. Let's swap out this subtext for a positive client quote. And then I'm just gonna stylize the text as well to make it stand out a bit more. And let's italicize it, why not? Okay, and to prepare for that jump link I mentioned earlier, I'm just gonna change the button copy to say something like click here to watch my interview with Joe. Okay. Let's continue by adding our first little statistics section. So I'll filter for those designs and select this one. And then this looks like an H3, so I'm just gonna change it to an H2. And then of course, as you build actual case studies, you can swap out this data and data descriptors for things that actually apply to your own client. Let's add a new block. This is going to be our challenge section. So that's gonna be best represented as a text content design. So I'll select this one. And then I'll just go ahead and swap out that copy. Next, we'll add our solutions section. So the, this, in my opinion, is best as an illustrated list design, but I'm actually not seeing all the designs I want here. And if that happens to you, it's probably because you're filtering for only your shapeshift theme blocks. So I can tell it to show me all the blocks, filter for illustrated list again, and now you can see I have more options. And here's the one I was looking for. So to continue, first I'm going to change the padding on the top and bottom margins here. And you'll see why, because I'm going to change the background color from white to this light blue global color. And that's because it acts as a pattern interrupt to signal to the reader we're in a new section. So that's just a cool little design trick I use sometimes on my landing pages. Also in this particular page block template, some of the text is a little bit smaller than the rest of the page right now. So I'm just gonna quickly update that. 
And notice because these content blocks are grouped, if I change one, they're going to automatically update together. So in just a few clicks, I can have that ready to go. Let's continue by adding a little testimonial section as per the case study blueprint. And I like this one here. So I'm gonna change the design here by swapping out that white background again for my brand blue. And now the typography is that gray on blue and I want it to be white on blue, but instead of updating it element by element, I'm gonna use the outside in principle, select the largest container, open the typography tab and swap the color to my global white. And then you notice both of those elements update automatically. Now I just realized I forgot to swap out my demo text here in the solution section. So I'll do that now. And let's continue by building the results section. So we'll open the page block library, come back to the statistics designs and I'll select this one because it has an H2 header here. Now, if you want to showcase more charts and graphs, what I recommend is adding a new block, filtering for statistics again, and then select something like this. Highlight the largest container here and drag and drop it into the block above it. So now all of those results, charts and graphs are located in the same block and we can delete the empty block below. Now let's swap out the demo text for our instructional text and continue with the next section, which is our sort of feel good results with images and commentary. So that is also gonna be an illustrated list element. And here I'll swap out the text again. And if you need to expand the width of this particular text element, come into layout position and just increase that percentage there. Okay, I'll also swap out these little subheadings. Next, we'll move on to the client testimonial video section. And I think the best designs for that are in the call to action group here. So I'll select this one. Now I'll swap out my demo content, maybe update or uh, highlight some of the text here with a global color. Swap out the video, demo video. And I'm even going to make this video bigger by dragging the column over a bit there. And I told you about that jump link before, the jump link we were going to set up. So let me scroll back to the top, click on the button. I'll click this anchor, select target. And then I just scroll down to the video section and select that block, add jump link. And then just make sure smooth animation is on. Let me come back down to the video. And I'm just going to take off the sticky float on scroll option because we're so close to the bottom already of the page. From there, I'm going to delete this button because we're gonna have a dedicated call to action section and let's build that next. Add a new page block and let's select again for call to action designs. I'm gonna select this one here. Now what you notice here is that the background color isn't matching with the fancy divider above it. So we're gonna fix that by clicking on the background and changing it from light blue to the global white color. Then we need to change this block's fancy divider color from white to that light blue. So now this blends in, these two sections blend in seamlessly together. Let's swap out our text and I'll even change the call to action buttons copy to just remind myself that I need to add a strong call to action. One last thing I wanna do here is increase the height of the fancy divider, something like 195, because when this is full screen like this, I, I'm gonna want this blue color to blend in with the next section, so it's a seamless design. So, Let's add that new block so you can see what I'm talking about. And this is the last page block we're gonna add, which is the product highlight design. Let me select this one. And now I can change that black background color to the light blue again. And now you see that blend seamlessly. The last thing I wanna do here is update these buttons. So instead of referring to some affiliate site, I'm just gonna say learn more because I'm gonna assume you're referring to your own products on your site. 
And let's just change the hover button design. So we'll go, we'll start with the borders. We'll make sure it's like the normal state with two pixels thickness and just change the color to match. Okay, and then we'll change the background color to our theme color and the typography color to white. So I think that looks a little bit nicer on this design. And then instead of doing that for each, I'm just going to delete each of these, clone the one I already edited, and then drag and drop those into the empty columns. Okay, last thing here is we just wanna add our footer. And our design for desktop is complete. So let's scroll back up to the top and optimize this for tablet and mobile. So what you're gonna find is there won't be very many things you have to tweak here because everything is mobile optimized out of the box. So maybe we just need to change some font sizes, especially on things we changed ourselves as we were going through the, um, the tech swaps. Okay, and I just scroll down, it looks good, looks good. All of this is looking very nice for tablet. I'm happy with it. Um, let's go ahead and sh increase the fancy divider height again so it blends in with the section beneath it. And that all looks good to me. So we'll just do this again for mobile. This all looks fine. You can see there's just very few things we need to do to get this ready on the smaller screen sizes. Okay, one thing I wanna change here. So we have image, heading, text, image, heading, text. And then let's just go ahead and highlight these columns and reverse the column order. So then we have image, heading, text, image, heading, text again. Client testimonial video. Let's decrease this height a little bit of the fancy divider and it's still blending nicely together. One thing we could do here maybe is insert um, a little bit of space. So we see the background color shine through here. And that's, that is done. So we'll save our work, preview it. And as you can see, my jump link is working well and everything looks great. Now, since this is going to be a reusable template, we won't publish this particular landing page. We're simply going to clone it when we want to create an actual case study. So from there, I can rename it, the clone to something like Jessica's story. Set a featured image for it, which you'll see why in a moment. If you were gonna do this in real life, you would probably save the draft, then update all of the demo or instructional copy and demo images, and then publish it. But for just a, for time's sake, I'm going to publish it now. And let's just assume we've gone through and updated all of the images and text. So this is a published, ready to go case study. Here's another really cool way you can use client case studies on your website. If you build a success story silo page on your website, then you can include something called a post list element on it, which you can set to automatically pull these client case studies onto the page. So if we were to filter the posts and then add Jessica's story, save and close that, you'll see that the post list element automatically updates with that new published client case study here. And if I preview my success story silo page, not only do I see that new client case study loaded, but in this particular design, I can click that load more button and all of my client case studies will showcase here in one place. So that's a look at how fast you can build your own reusable case study template videos using nothing but page block designs inside Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder. And you can rest assured that no matter what brand color you select for Thrive Theme Builder, these case study pages are going to update automatically and keep the look and feel of your brand consistent. Now, if you don't have Thrive Architect or Thrive Theme Builder yet, remember that you can get both by joining our Thrive membership and I'll link to that down below. If you have any questions about page blocks or how to build landing pages with them, make sure to leave your comments below and we'll see you in the next video.